In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download and insert audio into your Flash project. So what I've got right here is I've got this clip, and I want to put some sound effects for this little spaceship landing. Um, so there's a couple places you can go. Uh, I'm going to go to this website called soundbible.com, and there's a whole bunch of other websites you can go to too that I have for my website. But Sound Bible is a great one. And the first thing you'll do is just do a search for what you want. So I've already done a search for spaceship and hopefully it gives you some of the uh, things you want. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this, um, or I can play it too. I'm going to go ahead and download both the WAV file, and I'm going to download the MP3 too, just so that in case one of them doesn't work. So I've downloaded both of those files. Um, now once I've once I want to put those into my project, and right there, just download them right to iTunes. Uh, so if I don't want those in that spot, I'm going to actually select those. Usually, those to your downloads folder. Uh, but I've created a a folder for my sound effects, and I'm just going to put that on the desktop. Um, so I'm just going to right mouse click and just name the sound effects and just throw those in there so I can find them a little bit easier. So take some time to download some files. I've got my files right there. And now when I'm ready to import those, I'll go on to Flash. So File, Import, Import to Library. And that will allow me to go hopefully find them. So I'll go to my desktop, go to Sound Effects, and then I'm just going to go ahead and click on that first one and click Open. So once I've imported in, that will go into your library. Uh, and if you're not seeing your library, you can always go to Window and find uh, your library that way too. Uh, but if now if I look for that sound effect, um, I've got it right there. So if I want that to start at the very beginning, um, I'll go ahead and I have this layer here and I'm just going to name that sound effects. If I want to start right here, then all I do is just drag that over to my workspace and it'll show up. If I don't want to start right there, then and I just did a command Z to undo that. <clears throat> you can either right mouse click uh, to insert or, not, um, or F6, uh, or you can insert keyframe right there. And that'll kind of break this part from that part. So now I can select there and drag it over there. And that'll bring my sound effect. One thing about your sound effects, it plays until it's done. So if I don't want it to play longer than that, I'd have to go into a video editor or audio editor to splice that or shorten it up. If I want to get rid of it, I can remove that. Or I can just come in here and just go back to none. That's how you have it in sounds.